Hi everyone, welcome to another My Kids Locker Empathy Tales episode. This is Victoria Wolders, your host. I am also a mother, a wife, a teacher, and now a mindful educational storyteller. All these stories I share were the stories I shared with my students (laughs) and my kids. (laughs) Some of them were shared with my students, but All of them were shared with my kids at their bedside. And I'm excited to be able to record these episodes, not only for them as a legacy, but also for my students to be able to listen to. All of these stories are meant to encourage connection, empathy, and compassion. Well, today's episode is called The Paper Butterflies. The story came from my son making paper origami butterflies. I took his idea of making the butterflies and I put it into a story within the Oak and Eagle Kingdom. The paper butterflies in these stories is a form of hope. So learn how these paper creatures come to build love and connection. Thank you so much for being part of our episode today. And I look forward to connecting with you at My Kids Locker. Dot com if you have any questions, insights, or maybe a new story that I can add to the Empathy Tales collection. Until then, I hope that you enjoy this story. So without further ado, and you are all comfortable, then I will begin. Thank you. Here we go. So we are at... November 20th? Or is it the 19th today? What date are we today? It doesn't matter. Well, sometimes it is 19th. Okay, so we're on the 19th. It really does not matter. 2019. And this one is called The Paper Butterflies. Once upon a time, A long time ago, in the land of the Oaken Eagle Kingdom, in the land of the Eastern Eagle, there was the fairy forest. And in the fairy forest, there was this very small village called the Butterfly Fairy Village. Now, (coughs) the Butterfly Fairy Village was a very interesting village because the wings of these beautiful, exquisite fairies were just so detailed. They were so beautiful, like monarch butterflies. It was almost like someone had taken a stained glass window and had etched it with with many, many different types of colors. Light blues, pinks, greens, yellows, oranges, turquoise, auburn, and had taken a beautiful paintbrush and individually hand-painted each of their wings. Their wings were known throughout the entire Oak and Eagle Kingdom. And one thing that was really interesting was there was a curse that was put on this butterfly fairy village. And it was put on by the uh, land of the Eastern Eagle wizard. And the wizard got angry years ago. He got angry because they were flying way too high and way too wide and their wings were bashing into um, the trolls and the trolls were being distracted because they were so beautiful. So the wizard cast a curse and he grew a hedge of bushes as tall as eight feet and it surrounded the entire village. And if any butterfly villager were to leave the um, village, then what would happen would all of a sudden their wings would turn to paper butterflies. So there was this beautiful fairy, young fairy. Her name was Anastasia, and she had the most exquisite wings. They were pink, and there was colors like pearls and 
uh, triangles and shapes that were turquoise and were as blue as the eye could see into the sky. They were gorgeous and there were parts of her wings that were translucent and you could see right through and when the sun hit her wings in a certain angle, they glistened as if it was um, glistening on a lake or the sun was glistening on a lake. Well, she would often go to the edge of the, f- the fairy village and she'd look out. Sometimes she even was able to peer through the hedging. And one day, she happened to see a huntsman, a huntsman fairy that would walk on the path. He was around the same age as her, and he, she knew that he was special. Often she'd peer through the bushes and she would actually, or the hedging, And she would see him talking to other people. He was so kind. He was so considerate. He'd always use words that were caring and helpful and uplifting. And she'd always smile all the time she would hear him and and hear his voice. Well, the time came where her father said, We have selected the man for you to marry. The man who was selected was, of course, in the butterfly fairy village and he was a man that struggled with his anger he would often get frustrated very quickly and sometimes what would happen is he would he would choose words that were very hurtful and Anastasia knew this all along because she had gone to school with him and spent time with him and she said to her father I do not want to marry him and I do not want to be with him And the the father said, of course you do. David is a very well-known butterfly villager, a butterfly fairy villager, and he deserves to marry you. We have arranged it. You don't have a choice. Well, Anastasia got quite upset, and she decided that night that she was going to run away. Now, she knew the curse was going to happen. She knew that if she left the hedging, that she would have a chance for her beautiful, exquisite wings to turn into paper. But it didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. So that evening, she went to the the hedge, and she peered out, and there was the huntsman. She said, Huntsman, Huntsman, come here. And he peered through. He said, Who is this? Who is this? And she said, My name is Anastasia. I'm a butterfly fairy, and I need to leave my prison. Will you help me? And he said, of course I will. She said, I will be here at midnight tonight. And at that very moment, you need to make sure you have a candle so that I will be able to see when I jump over, try to climb over the hedging. He said, I will be here and I will be here with a large lantern so that you be able to see when you jump over. So that night at midnight, she packed her bags And she managed to crawl out of her window and to the hedging. She peered through the hedging and there was the huntsman with the lantern. She said, I'm here and I'm going to climb now. And as she climbed over and jumped down, all of a sudden, her beautiful wings that were there for one minute, that were so beautiful and glistening and made the huntsman butterfly stand in awe just dissolved into paper butterflies and they laid down at her feet flapping their wings she said what is this and the paper butterflies were alive but they were flapping their wings but she no longer had any wings and the beautiful paper that was on the ground was all different colors the colors that she would find in her her own wings she was so sad that she lost them. He gradually picked up all of the paper. Yep. He, she gradu- gradually, they both gradually picked up all the little paper butterflies and they put them in a, in, a, in a basket and they quietly walked down the road. As tears fell down her face, she was sad that her, butter, that her wings were now gone. And she only had paper butterflies to remember. The huntsman turned to her and said, Anastasia, we are going to go to the Wizard of the Western Eagle 
and we will talk to him about our paper butterflies. He will help us. So that next morning they went and the wizard said to the to them, I am sorry, but I cannot do anything. Uh, unfortunately, these paper butterflies are are just the paper butterflies and we can't do anything. We can't grow you can't grow back your old beautiful exquisite wings. But what what you can do is you can plant these paper butterflies. And what you can do is you can um, you can see what happens and what grows from them. And as you plant each of them, I want you to think about words and virtues. And as you plant them, say a virtue as you plant them. As she held up the paper butterflies, they were slowly dying. They were once fluttering all, all over the place when she first jumped from the hedge, but now they were lying and very quiet. It was almost the end of their life. So, uh, the huntsman and Anastasia were married. And as they moved into their new cottage, they had a beautiful garden. And all the butterfly paper butterflies that they had were all kept in a beautiful basket. And as they planted each of the beautiful butterflies, they said different virtues like kindness and care and empathy and compassion. And as they did that, uh, Anastasia's tear would drop into the over on top of the beautiful paper butterflies and they'd cover it with soil. Well, as the weeks went on, beautiful, beautiful flowers grew from those paper butterflies, more beautiful than she ever expected. And not only that, they also attracted the most beautiful and gorgeous butterflies from across the Oak and Eagle Kingdom. They were soon known to be the butterfly cottage, and they knew that the paper butterflies, even though at first were a tragedy, ended up becoming a blessing in the end. And from that point on, people would visit their cottage and say, what a beautiful garden you have and what beautiful butterflies you have. And they would just smile and remember that even in their loss, there was a gain. And they lived happily ever after. The end. Well, thank you so much for listening to the Paper Butterflies episode 73. Thanks to James for the idea because he watched a YouTube video on how to do an origami paper butterfly balm. And he was the one who suggested the idea today. So thanks to James. Signing off from another Empathy Tale. The end. Thank you so much for joining us today for a story called The Paper Butterflies. This story was brought on by my son who makes butterflies out of for origami. So I hope that you enjoyed this story. As we walk away from the story, I hope that you will take some time to think about what it means to love each other. I hope that today you will be able to think about when you loved or perhaps make a conscious effort of when you can love. I hope that if you have any questions or if you want to connect with me, through my website, that you truly do that. I'm always open for feedback. So connect with me on mykidslocker.com. Well, this is Victoria Wolders, your host of the My Kids Locker Empathy Tales podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. And until next time, I hope that you too will create compassion one story at a time. Thank you.